Images are one of the main reasons of slow websites. And in this video, I will show you how to fix this problem once and for all. Hello, I'm Kay from the Astro team. And in this video, whether you are a beginner or more advanced at building websites, I'm going to show you how professionals optimize images that are lightweight while still retaining outstanding quality. Now, let's take a look at this image here. As you can see here in the finder, the size of this image is 12 megabytes or 12,000 kilobytes, which is way too much. I would advise 200, 300 tops. In some cases, with pictures where your foliage is very hard to compress, so it could be a bit more. But the lesser it is, the better. As long as you keep quality, of course. So I'm going to show you how to address this. Now, the first way you could optimize this image is just go to a website called squoosh.app. It's a free website. I'm just going to drag this image and drop it here. And then you can see a pop-up here. I'm just going to select WebP. So don't select WebP v2 because it's unstable. So I'm going to select WebP. And then I'm going to change the quality. So let me set it at 80%. Now let me maximize this. As you can see here, you can see the difference in quality. Now it's a bit too big. I'm going to zoom out. And here you can see the difference in quality. So here at 80%, it's a reduction of 98%. So it's 253 kilobytes. I'm just going to save this and save. And now if we open the finder, we can see the original here, 12 megabytes and the new one here, 253 kilobytes. So here is the original and here is the optimized version. Can you tell the difference? Because even from here, I can't. So I doubt you will see it with the compression on YouTube. Now let's open the calculator and let's divide 12,000 by 253. So we've divided the weight of this image by 47, 47 times. Would you believe me if I told you I can do even better? So let me close this. And for this, my tool of choice would be Affinity Photo 2 or Photoshop. But let me show you a free alternative. And it's a website called Photopy and it's completely free. You just get those ads here on the side if you stay on the free version. But with the magic of editing, I can actually get rid of this. All right, next, you want to go to File, click on Open. And here I'm going to select my original file, the one that is 12 megabytes, and click on Open. All right. Next, you want to go to Image, Image Size. And you can see here that the resolution is super high. This is the type of resolution you get from stock images or even if you took an image with a recent camera. So let's change this to 2560. Why 2560? Well, just because it's above the 1920 that we used to use as a resolution. So it's better for retina screen, but at the same time, it's not so big that the file is going to be so big also. So if I click on the height field, it automatically changed the size to keep the ratio. So click on OK. Great. Next, you want to go to File, Export As, and we're going to select WebP. So just like in the squoosh.app website we saw previously, we're going to choose WebP. So here I can just drag around. Here is my image. And here I have a quality slider, just like in the previous tool. So here if I leave it on 80%, and the image is still looking quite good. So here, and let me show you, if I go to 0%, you see how the quality is degraded. So let me put it back at 80%. And you can play with this depending on the size, the file size you're trying to achieve. And I can see here that the file size is estimated at 71 kilobytes. So this looks good to me. Let me click on save and let's add a little C and click on save here. Now let's go back. Here is my original image. This is the one I optimized with squish.app. And this is the one we just optimized. Actually, let me just remove the one we created with squish.app so that we'd only have the original one and the one that we just optimized with Photopea. Now, once again, I don't know about you, but I cannot tell a difference from here. And bear in mind, I'm looking at a retina screen. So I should see if there was any difference. So once again, 
let's open our calculator and let's divide 12,000 by 71. And ladies and gentlemen, we just divided the size of the original image by 169. Yes, you heard it right. So we went from 12,000 kilobytes to 71 kilobytes with no visible loss of quality. Now just repeat this process for all images on your website and you can just imagine the impact. Now, I know there are plugins that can optimize your images, but this puts more stress on your website with yet another plugin. And also it puts more stress on your web hosting server resources. Whereas the solution I've shown you today can be done for free and in just a few seconds. Yeah. So you are now equipped with the knowledge to optimize your images. So do your website a favor and make it happen.